Cindy. I really miss Cindy, you know, because on a morning like today, I would just put her right here, so stand up beside me, and she'll clean up the entire cable. And I wouldn't have to worry about my hips. I'm now joined by the lady behind the gourmet Jamaica. A few bite sized treats in front of me. I'm going to be good today. Um, you are an architect. Well, so how does an architect end up <laughs> baking? Yeah. Well, I have a Bachelor of Arts in Architectural Science, and uh, um, I don't know, when your passion is something, you just have to follow it. And my passion is baking, my passion is cooking, so I just followed it. <laughs> I must tell you, we should have a scratch and sniff. It smells <laughs> really, really good. Now, your business is new. Mm -hmm. You're just literally like it. three weeks old. Yes, ma'am. And already you've been. Um, nominated for a huge award. Yes, um, the Jamaica Food Awards, uh, Jamaica Observer Food Awards. I had the tasting last week, Monday, at Ruby's. I did um, the planting tarts, I did uh, the bun, I do Easter bun as well, and then I did the mini jar desserts. So I did a four ounce jar and I did key lime pie for them and I dressed it up with a little bowl. Trust you know me, it was, it, was a, it was an honor. I was so shocked. It's a huge, huge <laughs> yeah, honor. Yeah, man. So what is your specialty? Because lots of people are going into baking businesses mm -hmm. these days. So how do you get to a point where you can stand out to the point where you get a nomination like that so early? Well, um, my baby is actually the planting tarts. This is where I put my heart and soul into it. It's a recipe I've been working for for the past um, three years now. For one planting tart? For one planting tart. Tell me about that, Amanda. Why do well, you have to labor so long to come up? What is peculiar about your planting tart? You want to taste Three it? Three years. I'm going to taste <laughs> it, but I want you to tell me. Obviously, well, we're not giving away too much. Um, those are the bite-sized ones. Uh, what it is, is uh, actually a shortbread cookie crust instead of the traditional puff mm. pastry. And how I came up with the, um, the recipe was actually a book up. <laughs> I didn't have half ingredients to make the puff pastry and I decided, you know, why not do something different? And I tried the shortbread cookie and I really liked how it ended up. And then I started working on the crust and the, the filling some more, the shape of it. And then... <laughs> why don't we bring this woman in here? Yes, miss, I'm talking, I'm listening. Yeah, and then that's how I came up with the, the planting tart. I decided to do it mini. It's stuffed with filling rather than having more crust and filling. It has like nice juicy planting in it. So yeah. <laughs> very good. Thank you very much. Very, very good. Thank you. So you'll only get it in this size, the bite size or well, size. the bite size. Well, the bite size, no, I don't make the regular sizes. This is the biggest one that I'll do. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nice sugar on the top. Thank you. <laughs> Tell me about your banana bread now. Banana bread. I love banana bread, and so I don't eat everything off. I make it with walnuts, because I'm allergic to walnuts. So that's my banana bread. Um, I use ripe, ripe, ripe plant, um, bananas. And it's you just say you use what you're allergic to? Yes, yeah, so I don't so eat it off. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So what's the difference about, apart from the walnuts, what's the difference about your I mean, it's a, it's a traditional banana bread. It's a little bit more moist. And I, I can also make that in the jars as well. This is delicious. Thank you. So Thank outside you. of the, this is your signature. Yeah, my signature is a planting tart. But you make everything pretty much. Not really everything. I don't really like to step out into something that I don't have the, the right recipe for. So um, I make bun as well, Easter bun. Easter is coming up. You have to have There's Easter a tradition bun. in your family. Yes, bun. my mom actually has the recipe. It was passed on through generations from grandma to oh, my mom. Never so you have to come and taste this. No joke. No, come here. I can give you this a piece. You can share it with your guests. This is. Okay. Thanks for welcome. Bye. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, um, we do the bun together, so that's her baby. Mm -hmm. And then she also does Christmas cakes, which I'm going to also pull into, into Gourmet Jamaica this Christmas, so you guys can look out for that as well. Okay, these jars are really cute and very different. Yes, these are mason jars. They're actually used to, for, um, to store like um, jellies, fresh fruit. So the concept behind it um, is you have, it's a dessert per person. So mm -hmm. this is a, a, <laughs> it's a Nutella cheesecake. Um, key lime pie, this is actually one of my, um, my best ones. I have a lady that gives me, she has six jars and every week she comes for her jars and she's like, I'm gonna just fill them up. I said, all right, no problem. Where are you going? Where are you going? <laughs> Seriously? Seriously? Take one and done. One and go. All right. Okay. Yeah. 
So you feel um, these six of these for her every week? Yeah, man, every week she wants her six key lime jars. And you I'm, are saying that this is one person to eat this? One person to eat that, yeah. In one sitting? Well, you see, the, the great thing about the, um, the mason jar is that it, when you close it, it seals. So if you don't want to eat all of it one time, you can put it back in the fridge and it'll still be fresh when you open it again. So delicious. So what's this on the top? That's whipped cream. And nuts. And hazelnuts. And hazelnuts. Yeah. And what's in That's here? That's the Nutella cheesecake. And, oh my God, you are so evil. <laughs> well, this yeah, one this is, one this one would be nice for you. This one is the newest one that I'm coming out with. This is the breakfast jar. And so it's good, but it also looks very healthy. It is healthy. You know, wonder, wonder. All right. No. <laughs> <laughs> I want the ones that look like this. Yeah. With the beauty of well, this one, this one is cute for date nights. This one is a, a, a two people. This is a two people. This okay. is a thermos two for two. Oh my gosh! And it has a little look at it. Yes. Very cute, <laughs> two girls. And, and that's a red please. velvet cake. Eight. Can I give out your number? Yeah. This is your work number. No, let me give out your email. Give out my email address. Jamaica <laughs> at gmail dot com. You are obviously poised for great things. Thank you very much. Thank you much. for coming in and sharing with us Thank again. Thank you for Go having me. at gmail.com if you want Amanda to. You cater and everything. Right? Yeah, man, I cater. I cater. Okay. All right. Well, good luck with your food awards Thank award. You very much. All the very best. best. <laughs> who is, well, don't tell me who is nominated. <laughs> Just wish you all the very best with it. Thank Never you. Never Bell, who is fresh from his um, banana eating slice, is now going to talk to some Bollywood dancers. Thank you very much, man.